The next success was never enough. And so I just want to leave with this one question for today is why are you in L.A.? Why are you in L.A.? Now, 70% of the workers in the United States, so that means wherever you work, if you're driving Lyft, you're working as a barista, you're in the entertainment world, 70% of U.S. workers are unhappy. That's sad. But also, by the way, it's an opportunity. <laughs> Most of the people who work around you are really unhappy. And God may have you there in that particular work in order to bring some little bit of light in places that are very dark. It's an opportunity. In fact, there's a recent article I read. It was about Harvard, uh, Harvard Business School. It was like some kind of reunion. Everyone's talking about how much money they make and what they're doing. And this one individual who is a grad of HBS who's making $1.2 million a year, and he said, I'm miserable. Why? Because no matter if you're 16 or 36 or poor or a millionaire, it's never enough, ever. And what it shows is that millennials today, what's most important to them, yes, it's money, it's making a living, but the most important thing is meaning, purpose. And studies are showing that across every demographic, though, meaning wins out over money every time. For the 70-year-old, the 60-year-old, the 50-year-old, the 20 it doesn't matter if you're a millennial or whoever. Meaning trumps money every time when the person is alone with themselves sitting in front of the mirror and thinking about life. It's meaning. Friends, that's an opportunity for the gospel. Even if you hate your job, it's an opportunity because 70% of the people around you are miserable and looking for some reason to wake up the next day. It's wired within us for meaning. 